what's up y'all so this next video is going to be showing y'all how to set up your lines in the lines on the machine listen i've asked people to show me how to do this did they show me no they didn't so guess what i figured it out so hopefully this helps you because it does make your machine look neater um and 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 i just honestly uh been trying to figure it out forever but hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know do you set your machine up like this and you know do i feel like i'm better than some people i did <laughs> i felt like i was better than myself how about that because i was like how are y'all doing this I'm, i know i'm good at my job but why can't i set up these lines Go ahead, watch it. All right, so as you see, we got our dialyzer. Make sure y'all check that prescription for that. And now I am inserting my line into the blood pump. Hadn't moved around to get it in there. I clamp as I go. This part is important. This is when I figured it out one day, just literally staring at the machine. Following my red lines. Clamp. Trash. I throw away and clamp as I go. A lot of things are as I go because when the patient comes in, I don't want to have to clean up extra mess. So now I'm about to prime my arterial line, which gets primed by gravity. I do that as I'm setting up my venous line because that gives it time to prime where I know the air bubbles are out, as you see. So here I am filling my arterial chamber with the line that has a transducer on it. If you forget to clamp this off, you will get water in your transducer and you don't want that. So be careful. Clamp. I do want to add that after doing this one time this way setting up my machine this way one time it took me like pretty much the rest of the day to consciously do it that way and then from then on the way that I set up my machine my machine I try to make sure I set it up that way because it just looks neater and my lines are the way I want them to be because before I would try to do it and I had my lines a different way and like when I would flip my dialyzer they would all like fall or like if the patient's access wasn't on the side of the machine then it was a whole uh lines all over the place I'm like how do I keep getting my lines tangled so even though I've been working in dialysis for a while that still was happening especially uh on a you know changeover situation um when you hustling and bustling so I say that all that to say um, I hope this video helped you. Let me know if you try it. Um, let me know what you think about it. Is it easier for you? Is it harder for you? <laughs> let me know and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.